Greetings, everyone. This is Mother God, Grandpa, and the First Contact Ground Crew Team here at your 24-hour service, and we mean that in so many ways. Uh, websites, radio shows, videos, um, planetary energies that we, we work on uh, on a daily basis, and even at night, all of us. So, and all of you, too. Not We are including all of you. So anyway, lots is uh, happening as anticipated, and energetically speaking too. We've been getting reports of intense uh, amounts of energy. Some of this is causing people lethargy, uh, which is perfectly normal as we assimilate the, this amount of light that's coming into us. And uh, today is the anniversary of the first Fire the Grid event, which was July 17th. This is the 7th year anniversary, and the reason we bring some of these things up is because a lot of you, even though you participated in Fire the Grid, a lot of you did, you've shared that with us, um, but a lot a lot of, of you didn't know what was happening behind the scenes, and there's been an, uh, a nine-year span of specific things, it goes way back more than that, but nine years of specific things that have occurred to set up this what we're in now as far as in the ascension um and all of you participated even though some of us were just the vehicles and it was our honor to do so so the seventh anniversary today fire the grid fire the grid was where we got together pulled our energies together and basically sparked the unity grid and in the unity grid is heaven on earth um, foundational energies which is peace and joy, and unconditional love, and true equality, and abundance for all, and there's there's much more that goes into that list, but we all focused our energies together, and it was a brilliant and magical uh, moments uh, during these during this event, and it actually continued. Um, at, right after that is when the energies were almost like a cannon. And for me personally, I was shot out of a cannon for sure. I began, right after that, be began receiving two to three hundred or more synchronistic events a day, which I was documenting. Also, uh, right after that is where um, I had gone into a, a meditation to call in help uh, from the Galactic Federation of Light and all of creation to help us in this process uh, that we did definitely needed their assistance. Uh, also, it was when um, I began getting the transmissions from the Elohim for the first contact ground crew team. And uh, we still have all that filed away there. So all of these things began happening very fast. I think also um, another event is um, I was walking with my little boy and we were in, he was in a stroller and um, as we were walking, this huge golden mirror looking kind of portal thing appeared in front of us. And I had to stop. Hi. I had to stop and ask him if he saw it too. And he did. And immediately I got a, a message to walk through it. And as soon as we did, everything changed. The air changed, the people around us changed, everything changed. It was, uh, what an amazing, amazing experience. And it, it just happened in a few, few moments. And really funny, synchronistic event, when I got home from having that experience to document it, uh, I checked my email. My first email was um, a gold ring video. <laughs> so... Um, you know, those are the things that give us validation for our experiences. And that has happened for many, many of us along this path. Without those, you know, validations, we would have thought we were going nuts for sure. Um, but, you know, when in doubt, ask your angels. If you get information that you're, you're confused about or you're, you don't understand, first of all, let it go. Because only what's real will come back. If you need to understand it, it's going to keep coming back to you. And also, ask your angels to help validate it. Simple as that. 
See, you know, angels, can I get a validation for this? Thanks. I really appreciate it. So that'll give you the courage and the confidence to keep going and moving forward in your path. We've got lots of help from everybody. Oh, I'm getting raindrops on me. <laughs> We've had some beautiful, amazing thunderstorms. Actually, we had one all night last night. Um, just amazing thunder like you've never heard before and lightning all over the place. Simply amazing. So let's see. So as far as what's been going on right now in the past what, 48 hours, uh, yesterday was a very significant energetic point, as is today. And we really feel this will continue in intensity. Uh, everybody else uh, that we has is out there sharing information, we're all on the same page. Everyone can feel it. Um, and there's things out there we know happening in the 3D physical world right now. And, um, you know, we send our, all our love for the highest outcome, for sure. And I did um, want to read the peaceful prayer for, for the smooth transition that we're in, in the shift, uh, for the new paradigm and heaven on earth and, you know, out of humanity and everybody out of this fear, pain, and suffering, which was just an illusion, and, and back into the present moment of now and divine intelligence and happiness and joy and balance and peace and centeredness, all those great and wonderful things. All right, so let's read this peaceful prayer. I know I pulled it up here. All right. Hey, hey, sissy. Little doggy here. She wanted to come. All right. Okay. A peaceful prayer for a smooth transition into the universal uni unity government based on truth and equality on planet Earth, equal heart, based on love for all living beings, truth and oneness. In deep gratitude. We wish to share a moment of peaceful prayer to the current illusionary belief systems and send them loving energies for their complete dissolvement. They have played their roles and are no longer needed in the new paradigm. The people are the real government, as decreed, and now we are in this process of complete manifestation. All of humanity are free in love through divine birthright and will each begin to live true spiritual lives of peace and pure, unconditional love. The current societal belief systems are corrupt and do not support life. All which does not support life for the highest good of all is dissolving. So these are the words for humanity, the prayer. I now ask that all of humanity's I am presence step forward and that their every thought, word, and deed be a mirror of the love they hold for all beings, including themselves. I ask that peace, harmony, happiness, and abundance return to all of God's children. I ask for a peaceful and smooth transition into a universal government in support of love for all of us as one. I ask and give permission that illusion fades quickly now and the real light steps forward on planet Earth, equal heart, the reality of our love. I ask and give permission that my I am presence step forward, and that my every thought, my every word, and my every deed is in forever in accordance with the divine plan and love everywhere present, the true reality. I step into the river of life as one love.
one river flowing together as one. Welcome to the awakening decreed. So it is on earth as it is in heaven, and so it is and so shall be forever and forevermore with Father Sky and Mother Earth and the First Contact Ground Crew Team. And transmission and all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Thank you for being love. Thank you for choosing love. Because you are love. And we stand with you equally in that. All right. Everybody have a great day, evening, night, morning. And no worries. Don't worry. Be happy, everybody. That's how we keep raising our frequencies. By being the love we are. Hey, honey. Also, we would love to connect with you via an awakening session. Uh, we've been having lots of good movement and um, wonderful experiences in these. You can find uh, the email down below and the website. Daily great posts going out there, all in alignment. It's just so brilliant. All right. Mwah.